Good afternoon class, we're ready for lesson two. Uh, lesson two is gonna focus on muscle strength and endurance. So um, I have all the things we're gonna be working on today on my whiteboard. You'll notice uh, we, we always focus on a standard. Why do you go to high school uh, to learn things? And to learn things specifically designed by the state. So uh, here are my standards. Uh, demonstrate independent learning of movement skills. Obviously, I'm not there to watch you. I'm not there to say, hey, straighten your back or all oh, your elbow needs to be in. So you need to self-correct. Uh, so you can just think in your head as I say the cues, what you could do to self-correct. The second thing I want, we want to work on is developing personal goals to improve one's performance and physical activity. So what does that mean? Uh, I have no clue how much weight you're going to lift. So you know how much you're gonna lift and you're gonna set a goal that next time we do a workout that's similar to this, maybe you do one extra rep or you do one extra set or you do one extra round or you do 30 more seconds, whatever it may be. Uh, which leads to our learning targets. I can perform fitness activities and explain form. Our quiz online is going to be on um, the form and you're gonna be performing the activities as you follow along with this video. So um, that's our learning target, our word wall. Some of these words are new, some of them are not. Some of you may have seen them and forgot what they meant, but here we are. Muscle strength, muscle endurance, set, rounds, repetition, progression, and overload. So throughout the activity, I'm gonna be referring to all of these as um, important words for our quiz and just for life, because um, most of these words are part of weightlifting or fitness every day. So that's our, our board for today. Um, so you might say, Dr. S, why do you have a backpack? Well, what did Dr. S do? He created the Backpack Fitness Challenge. So you see here, um, I piled this backpack with my son's books. And so you see the little kid books, but there's a lot of them in here. Um, if I could tilt this over without them all falling out, I would show you. But I put every book I could find in this bag, and I have a small backpack. If you have a bigger backpack, sorry, you have a lot more books to put in. Um, so I know most of you don't have weights at home. You don't have uh, rubber bands. You don't have kettlebells. You have nothing like that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work our shoulders or deltoids, our biceps, and our triceps, which is the back of your arm, using your backpack full of whatever you can find. If you don't have a backpack, you can use a pillowcase. If you don't have a pillowcase, um, maybe you can find a chair or um, a brick in the front yard, whatever it might be, you can use it. Laundry detergent, that's a really good um, implement you can use. So uh, laundry detergent, obviously if it's full, if you have an empty one in the house, fill it up with water. That will give you at least uh, at least five to seven pounds probably, or if, if not 10, depending on how much laundry detergent container you have, how big the container is. So without any further ado, we're gonna do our dynamic warm up, and then we'll get started. So here we are. Uh, remember that from the previous lessons, dynamic means you keep moving, okay? And uh, it helps loosen up the, the ligaments, the tendons, gets the, the muscles, um, the blood flowing, gets your heart rate up, which is important. Um, and then uh, as we work through these dynamic stretches, it's important to remember, you might need to do more than me. Um, I actually just filmed this and somebody called on my phone, so I can't even, uh, I lost that whole video. I just learned a lesson. But here I am uh, just redoing a warm up. Thumbs up. You want to take care of your shoulder. Shoulder injuries are one of the most common injuries uh, among adults as well as athletes. So you really want to take care of your shoulders when you're exercising. Um, this is a forearm stretch. There's not much you can do for your bicep. You can do some like weird circles like this, kind of windmill type circles. That'll help um, in these forearm stretches. So we just did a dynamic warm up. We didn't do a static one. That's for the end, uh, static cool down. So first exercise, you're gonna grab, we're gonna do everything with two hands the first time and one hand the second time. Grab your backpack or your, whatever it is you can find that weighs something. We're gonna do an upright row. My knees are bent, I'm square forward, elbows first. There you go. And so we're gonna try to do um, at least two rounds of this. And so what are rounds you ask? Rounds are when you um, perform consecutive exercises in a row without taking a rest. So if you do just two things like a bench press and a, and a um, 
and a bicep curl, that would be a superset. But when you're doing rounds, you're doing multiple things. So we're going to add three different exercises together and go straight through. So this works our shoulders and it works our, our deltoids. Or another name for the deltoids. Next, we're going to do bicep curl. Bicep curl, I'm going to grab here, two-handed. Bring it up. Keep your elbows in when you're doing the bicep curl. It's really important uh, that you not sway. I see a lot of people lifting their elbow. That's not it. you got to keep it at your side. Um, how many sets are we going to do? Well, in my head, we're going to do at least two sets of each exercise. And how many reps are we doing? Uh, I'm shooting to do 10 while I'm sitting here with you. So we'll do 10 to 15, we'll say. Um, and as we move through this, it might get easier, it might get harder. Pause the video, take a break if you need to stretch more. Um, so here's our tricep extension. You're gonna fight to keep your elbows in on this. It's really important that you find your own space where you need uh, your elbows to be. Um, I don't want them all the way out here, so I'm gonna try to keep them in here. Okay, so that was for our triceps. That was round one. Uh, so we did three exercises, the upright row, the bicep curl, and the tricep extension. We did them all with two hands. The next round, we'll do everything with one. I know some of you might need a break, so let's go back to our board. Um, so what words have I used so far? I've used muscle endurance. We're, pro, we're doing this over and over again. So we're building stamina, whereas muscle strength means you do it once. So we're not doing it once. We did five of those, we did 10 of those, we did 15 of those. Um, set, we've done one set of each exercise. Repetitions, we were shooting for 10 to 15. Progression and overload, hmm, I think that's something I have to talk about as we move on. So, this essentially would be one form of overload. Rather than using two hands, I'm now using one for my upright row. By using one hand, I've taken the emphasis um, and made it harder. It's just in one arm and uh, I could feel it in this part of my shoulder more than I could feel the two, two hands. Okay. Okay. So here we are. Other side. Um, progression. What is progression? That is this week. Maybe you do uh, two rounds of this next week. Maybe you could do three rounds next week. Maybe you do 30 seconds rather than 15 seconds, whatever it may be. Okay, uh, bicep curl. This is really important. Um, make sure you keep your elbow at your side. Keep your body square. And you want to go all the way up to the top. All the way up, all the way down. You want the muscle to fully contract. So what happens when you're working on muscle strength and endurance? Uh, these endurance activities help improve blood flow. They help lower your cholesterol. They help uh, improve your muscle size. They also strengthen your tendons and ligaments. So it's really important that as I'm going through these exercises, okay, they're helping my body more than just, oh, they got muscles or, you know, he or she has big muscles or they have big muscles, that person has big muscles. That's not the important thing, it's that it's helping with your overall health. It makes everyday life easier if you can do these activities. Um, you'll notice just, if you did this for a month with these different exercises, fight to keep your elbow in for your tricep, um, if you did these for a month, walking up the stairs would be easier. Hey, uh, picking up the groceries would be easier. Carrying that gallon of milk would be easier. So it makes it easier for everyday life. Um, so when you go to the doctor as an older person, the two common things they tell you is you need to eat right, have a clean diet, and you need to exercise. So if you're doing these exercises as a high school student, you can carry them all the way through life. Hopefully at some point you can go to a gym and use dumbbells and kettlebells and battle ropes and everything else. But right now we're all home, so we're using our backpack. All right, so I did a single arm for that whole round. So we've done two rounds of three different exercises, upright row, bicep curl, tricep extension. It's actually called the overhead tricep extension. Some people even call it a French press, depending on uh, where and who you look, uh, look, look for for your information. Um, so where are we on our wall? Hmm. We are on, um, let's see, we've covered all the words. Uh, overload means you're adding more weight. Progression means you're trying to do something a little longer 
or a couple more times. Rounds is a set of exercises or a series of exercises. Um, and a set is like just a bicep curl, one set. No, you don't want to do one set. You want to do two sets. You want to do three sets. Uh, we could have done all biceps today, but we did upper body, deltoids, bicep, and tricep. Um, so uh, I could perform fitness activities and explain them. Mm, explain them. I don't know if you guys all got that keyword. So let me uh, go back through. And this time I'll do two hands again, just to make it easier. So knees are bent, elbows are up. Okay, and you're keeping your weight in your heels. You're looking forward. This is your upright row. It works your deltoids. It also works your traps. Okay, um, this is a really good shoulder exercise uh, because it, it just helps you, even with your posture, you can feel yourself coming back when you do this. So that was the upright row. Um, next, bicep curl. Elbow at your side, body square, knees bent, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. And then remember, um, when you're doing these bicep curls, that you are breathing and you're not bouncing. You notice I always have an athletic stance, feet shoulder width apart, a little bit of bend, tailbone a little bit out, uh, body upright. Obviously, if I'm turning and looking at you to talk, it's not. But uh, these bicep curls can also be done if, let's say you, you wanted to stage yourself against the wall and just go up like this. It really um, is up to you how you want to do them. There's probably 20 different kinds of bicep curls out there. Uh, that was pretty simple ones. And last was our tricep extension. Um, I'll actually show it to you standing since before I showed it to you on the ground. You want to fight to keep those elbows in. You want to keep your body square, your back straight. You go up and down, up and down. Common mistake with this is those elbows out. So we want to fight to keep them in, fight to keep them in. All right, so you can keep going. Um, now that you've seen the exercises, it's really important, just go at your own pace. Um, my challenge for you would be to do, you know, of, a, of this backpack exercise challenge, I would say if you can do it five times through, uh, so maybe three times with two hands and two times with one hand, that'd be great. Uh, I think we've accomplished a lot of this today. Um, at the end of the day, this is going to be up to you. If we're online for a month, we're online for a month. If we're online for six months, we're online for six months. Uh, but at, at, at the end of the day, your learning is now in your hands, and I want you to take responsibility for that. Um, the quiz and PowerPoint will be online. I hope you all have a good day. Feel free to email me if you have any questions. Bye.